We are live. Let me refresh. Let me make sure you can hear us. You can see us. Nothing yet. Nothing yet again. And finally, there we go. All right, we are set. So we have a special guest today, Ken the Hustleby, <laughs> back on Wednesday for this one, who we just talked to on Monday, nonstop live shows. And we got more news. It seems like random news, uh, I don't know, daily now. So let me see who's here. Activate Hustle Mode, J. Ochoa, El Grunk, Jose Campos, and Jose Romero is also here too. Sal Hernandez and Caroline. And Jorge uh, Gonzalez is here, El Gronk, Josh Brown, Patrick, and Dapper Fanatic, True Win, Chino Brown, Flippin' the Hustle, Maximo, and Mercurial Venom in the house. Smooth Selling. And uh, our boy, Stevie D. Hey, baby. Felicia Sadler and Marcos, Dana, District Deals, what's up? And let's see, Jose and Edward, Sneaker Hands, Zombries, Red Drum, Just Fire Deals, Christian, Price Assassins, Keep Going Down, RB Sneakers, Jaden, Hustle and Silence, Cold World Kicks, Flips Anonymous, Willie Will, Arman and Kenji, Joe, Doug the Pug, Shoe Monster, DFW Kicks, Mercurial Venom, and uh, Z Diddy, Eddie, Renee, Jay's Closet, more people coming in. <sighs> Man, so B was wondering, like, why are you wearing a jersey? And here's the thing, I'm sad. <laughs> There's, like, no sports. I figured if I can wear a jersey, maybe I'll bring sports back. This is a very rough time. I'm losing it right now. So who knows? Maybe just wear jerseys from here on out. Something. Yeah, finally, Glenn's about to lose it. <laughs> yeah, something to... Just help us at this point. Uh, let me see. Jose, Mimi, Leo, Middle M, Extra Grands, and my boy Texas Pete. And still kicking sports. Still <laughs> kicking oh, sports. Got it. Man, <laughs> and I you, yeah, coronavirus had to step in. <laughs> I know. Zombies, we need sports. So this is where we're going to start off. We have the StockX news. Yes, we're going to get into that. But a couple of things. First one, um, if you guys saw this, so Lansing, Michigan, we got our first little set of protesting and um, full force to the governor. And I know on the news sites they were saying, what about 49 other governors? Are they going to be under heat after this? And I know it started off as like people driving, honking their horns, they got the flags. And then it just went to like, you know what, let's just get out of our cars, not really pay attention to this social distancing stuff. They got signs, guns, everything. Crazy, um, so, man. Yeah, Crazy. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, be, uh, because um, I guess their governor issued, uh, they extended the quarantine, something like that. And I guess they just freaked out. Yeah, and also the, I think they said their main, their main uh, tagline was, you know, you can smoke grass, but you can't cut it right now. Oh, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. That's that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> considering that their state is actually a uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty bad, you know, they're getting hit bad. They're getting hit hard. So we'll see. We'll see how many of these guys contract coronavirus for being out there. It's, well, Jay's Closet says, about an hour away from me, idiots. Patrick says, everyone is a protester until they get the virus. Exactly. Uh, that's why also what Michigan is a hot spot. Uh, mm -hmm. But then we also saw opposite news, L.A. news. And I was not too thrilled about this at all, about their governor saying that Man. coronavirus <laughs> is all L.A. concert sporting events until 2021. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I guess they just have to play an away game. <laughs> uh, I mean, in Florida, wrestling is considered essential. So why not this? I mean, what's going on here? Uh, let me see. <laughs> let me go on here and see what the Maximo. Let's see why NYC opening up in May. I hope everything opening up soon. Uh, let's see, different. What does it say about Governor? 
Oh, mayor. I think that's what the difference is. Not governor. Sorry. Yeah, I'm in Orlando. I'll talk about the wrestling thing. Um, so, yeah, this is, I don't know. I can't see this happening. I think we will just damn well lose it at this point, trying to ban concerts and sporting events and everything else until 2021. So just cancel the whole year <laughs> um, at this point. <laughs> um, all right, let me get this out of the way because we got to talk about StockX news and what you want to know. Anything else you guys, <laughs> news is running out of new stories to put out. Activate hustle mode. I know. And StockX decided, you know what? Let's kind of mix, thing, mix things up a bit. Right. Adding another fee during a pandemic and see yeah, if that instead works. Instead of giving stimulus package, instead of saving people money, uh, you know, let's just charge more money for the people. <laughs> I mean, they they pretty much totally did the exact opposite of what Nike did last night or yesterday. Um, <laughs> what might as well bring it up? I mean, what time was that? It was like nine forty-five or ten? Um, not the restock or sales. Yeah, not, yeah, Nike all of a sudden put a restock. Nike probably figured it out right that everybody got their stimulus check and everybody wanted to ball out. So <laughs> Nike, Nike saved people some money, right? And <laughs> the other end, StockX is going <laughs> to cost X. buyers more money. Yeah, this is, this is not good news uh, for buyers and sellers. So this is when we saw Complex posted it. We got the emails as well. So beginning April 22nd, StockX buyers will see a new 3% processing fee added to the purchase price of items. Some of the uh, comments on here and likes, likes by Sean Witherspoon, not surprised. Uh, guess we're moving to GOAT, not buying no more, deletes app. Hey, if you want to go with GOAT, you'll get your shoes in a month. That's totally up to you. Right. right now, they can't even get things going. Um, well, today, though, today, they've, they've verified a lot, a ton today. Um, remember I told you that I was shipping to California? Now, I'm shipping back to New Jersey. So, that's a good sign. Well, at least, if, if they're starting to get on top of things, then I'm all for it. Uh, let me see what the chat says. Um, I got hacked on StockX last year, six purchases, but all blocked, at least, DVD. Um, lose 3% or wait weeks with GOAT uh, from Josh, <laughs> which I agree on that one. I only use StockX to check market prices. <laughs> Let's see. GOAT verified a bunch in Jersey. GOAT verified today. Got shoes on the 7th. So wow. GOAT might be on top of things again. Mm -hmm. Let me see. What else are people saying on here? Do you think pools will open this summer? Now we're pushing it. Uh, we I, I, I don't even know anything at this point. And nothing surprises me either. But... Here's the official email and why they got 3% processing fee um, and why it's added. So as our marketplace continues to grow, uh, so have our investments in the platform, customer service, and our verification process. This fee increase will allow us to continue these investments and provide the best possible service to our millions of customers in 197 countries and territory territories around the world. So there's why. Um, according to them, you're getting the 3%. That's crazy. I mean, I, I, from looking at it, I think they're hurting. <laughs> I think they're hurting <laughs> because here's the thing. They did crazy expansion within the last six months, right? Yeah. And then now it's pretty much halting or something like that. I mean, I'm sure not everybody is, you know, buying as much as they used to be. So I guess what? To try to you know, make up for that, put tag 3%, but it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Like, uh, uh, like people said here, they should have delayed it. Dapper fanatic. They should have delayed the increase. Like what's two months more. I mean, it's not at its peak, right? If they increased it, they should have increased it during Q4. Yeah, for sure. And right? I remember everybody was wanting to buy. Now they want to increase when, I know. Let's move on. This one's funny. Well, remember this article, how saying that the U.S. shuts down StockX business is booming, says its booming. CEO. We read that one last week from Scotty Cutler saying that it's booming. And now maybe, we get a 3% fee. Wrong. Maybe stocks, StockX CEO is booming. <laughs> <laughs> Wording was wrong. So today eBay came in for shots fired on Twitter. I know. 
on eBay saying, we wanted to take this moment to remind our sneaker community that eBay has zero fees for buyers and zero fees for sellers, 100 plus, just saying, wink emoji, hashtag sneakers, hashtag sneakerhead. And some of the comments were like, you also have zero protection for sellers, <laughs> 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 which was uh, 347 uh, likes on that one. Uh, this guy tried to uh, go against that by saying PayPal saved him 10 to 15 times over the years. Ah, uh, that, that must have been uh, an eBay rep. <laughs> Zero protection and massive fakes and scammers. Uh, so let's see, uh, <laughs> let's see what the comments say. Let's see what the chat says on this one. How do you feel about eBay's uh, little tweet today? I can understand that this was coming from, I don't know, a platform that had zero flaws eBay is clearly not trying to grow, and they haven't been for years. So if you're right. going to come with shots fired, you better to come you know, with everything 100% legit ready to go. Yeah. Let me see what uh, the chat says. I mean, they should have just stuck to no, no buyer fees. They should have kind of directed <laughs> that towards buyers. Because <laughs> now you're saying like selling and buying – now like they're just bragging at this point that they're, <laughs> they're not right and then and then it, it backfired on them because now a seller got in there and got butt hurt no oh, right? yeah <laughs> so they should have they should have said it at ebay nobody as a buyer nobody pays fees you know period they gotta brag now it backfired on them <laughs> And the chat, um, let me see. Wow. Wow, eBay. eBay heart. eBay the goat. Laugh out loud. Um, see, I'm done with StockX. And let's see. It went from 100 shoes sold on StockX in a month to 30. StockX is hurting. Um, that's from Zapatos, which we know. Knows how to hustle out there. And let me see. Uh, eBay with a shameless plug. Patrick, $2 on the Super Chat. Thanks for that. And as he goat with just waiting to attack, goat is gonna see more traffic. Even though goat, though, we do see you know higher prices most of the time. If we're not undercutting each other, right, right, we'll right, higher prices in StockX. But of course, we also have the transfer fees and everything that comes with that. eBay is a scam. Where is that? <laughs> where is that one? No oh, man, I never forgot where it went. Oh, there we go. eBay is scam bay. I hope they make major changes. Uh, they allow so many fakes. eBay goes through CEOs like I go through boyfriends. Caroline. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, as a seller, I appreciate how eBay supports us for Mile High Hustle. Um, let me see. Am I the only one who feels like every shoe over $100 sell by the ad fee uh, from Logan? And <laughs> still kicking sports. $5. Thank you for saying my name correct on the Super yeah, Chat. Thanks for that one eBay petty. Um, eBay logo is colorful. <laughs> eBay is great for non-hype shoes. Stick to go. I mean, eBay just switched their color to green, too. Oh, yeah. They <laughs> did change that one. <laughs> Will, $1.99. Preach. There we go, Will. Uh, that's why Goat is kicking ass, and they do used, which uh, that's good, too. Uh, Zapata says, Goat better than eBay, or greater than eBay, greater than StockX, greater than Poshmark, in that order. Uh, what do you think? What do you? What is your order in platforms? I mean, considering that eBay is still my main platform, uh, but also just the amount of traffic eBay brings. I mean, if eBay doesn't change anything, I'm cool with it. As long as they don't change for the worse. I mean, especially <laughs> with no fees right now, over hundred dollars, I'll stick to selling hundred to two hundred dollars shoe there, and then everything over two hundred, you know, to other platforms. But but you have to think. Yeah, hobby seller, um, I would say GOAT would be the best. But if you're trying to, you know, do full-time and truly understand the metrics and stuff like that, eBay doesn't provide it for you. Even, I mean, you even have to wait, what, how many days to get a sales report from GOAT? So yeah. that's the thing. So that's the big difference. Uh, for hobby, se hobby seller, side hustle, I'd say GOAT would be the most, uh, you know, easy uh, way to do business you know, to get some side money. But if you really want to dig in full time to it, you'd need that million traffic to your store. Yeah. On everything that's wrong with reselling. I just wanted to throw that one in there. <laughs> uh, so let me uh, get this out of the way. So we can just talk a little bit about, 
here's the thing. There's good and bad at every platform, right? We've mentioned that before. And with eBay, it's like you're dealing with some of the bad buyers, uh, some of the returns you got to go through. Uh, We don't know what's happening with their processing because it's going through um, them. It's going to eventually go through them, but not everybody's there yet because of the PayPal. It's kind of in between. So you also have to, you know, ship straight to the customer. Now go, it's glad we don't see any of the returns. Right now they are taking a little bit longer to approve at the same time. Um, does take a little bit while, you know, a long while to get the money out. You know what I mean? You're making those transfers and they still got that fee as well. StockX, what we liked was you're able to get the money quick, go straight to your PayPal. And then you also get to send in everything all at once. You remember at one I box. Shipping, yeah. yeah. So Go also hasn't done that yet. So it's right. like, there's a lot of good things on each of them, but I, they're not I, all. I don't know why they would just do it. Like, <laughs> Like just like every other retailer, right? Most retailers now do free shipping over thirty-five dollars. You know, like why can't they just adhere to that and just like it's not that complicated of a system, especially the bulk shipping. It annoys me. Yeah, and well yeah, yeah. each individual box. If you sold, you know, fifteen, twenty pairs, you gotta do it individually. Right. Um, so here's the thing though, is when you're looking at it from a buyer standpoint, let's say you're trying to buy court purples or let's say they're $230. Now we're adding processing fee. Now we're adding shipping. Now we're adding tax. All these things combined. I mean, you're, everything's just jumping up that you're like, I thought I was going in just paying the 230. Now you're jumping up big time, adding this 3% right. uh, processing fee. So that's a huge deal. Um, I just, I wonder what I mean, okay, so as me and you buying sneakers, of course, we're trying to find deals. I think it's kind of like hard for us to like say we're just going to buy whatever over retail. I mean, it doesn't really happen that often. But if we were to think in that standpoint, where would we go to buy sneakers then? Considering that they added this 3%, would that change? Would you still go with StockX? I mean, I would definitely go with GOAT, especially because you can offer uh, there, especially when their use section, you can offer individually. Um, I mean, eBay too. I mean, especially if you know your shoes, definitely you get go to eBay and just, uh, you know, send offers there. Uh, Mercari, you just gotta know, uh, for people that don't know authenticity wise, goat might be the better option. True. Let me see what uh, smooth sailing. Okay. So what changes would you and the B make on eBay? I think. I'll go first. The the, okay. the 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 one the one of the biggest things really is to uh, uh, to clean up the listings. I really think that's a, one of the most important part right now. Just because it's just too crowded with fakes and just you know, uh, I think that turns away as consumer. Yeah, I I want to be consumer centered first. Um, and as far as seller. Yes, they could do better under protection, but honestly, it's not really that bad. It's not really, you have one or two bad experience, but it's really not that bad. Um, go open your website and run your own platform. You're going to have more scammers compared to eBay. Uh, global shipping is awesome. I would continue to do that and open it more to more countries. Um, but I think really is to have a better platform. I think that's the only, that's the biggest difference right now as a buyer uh, is, is they're buying confidence, even though a buyer has like hundred percent, you know, guarantee, but just the hassle of going through it, um, clean up all the listings and maybe offer, now that they don't offer fees over a hundred, offer authenticity. Uh, but looking at it, that's a, that's a really big job. They'd have to get somebody from StockX or go to to run that operation. <laughs> but but really, I think that's 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 the one and the most probably simple thing to do uh, to get eBay going again. I would say number one, I agree. There's way too many fakes out there. Not only fake shoes, but fake everything. There's too <laughs> many of them. So on Friday, uh, I got my video done. We'll do. Uh, it's gonna be real versus fake on Nike NBA jersey. So I'm gonna have that video out on Friday. Um, but yeah, too many fakes of everything out there on eBay. Got to clean that up. Number two, definitely got to get instant payments on here. Best offers. We can't have any of this stuff where buyers don't want to pay 
and new buyers come out of nowhere, zero feedback, they never pay. Uh, number three, their customer service does suck. I mean, it does. And you have to talk to so many different reps to get the right answer. Right. Um, so that also just kind of like you're going in circles sometimes. Uh, so those three things automatically, I would say. Um, the thing is too, even, I don't know, for some reason, the system's super slow, adding photos, things like that. Like, I think it's just a slow 90s platform that hasn't really kept up with the times. And the fifth thing I would say is to do something about bringing in new buyers. Like, you know, they, I hardly see any ads or anything that's bringing in some of like 18 to 21 year olds or anything. I think those people see eBay as like some sort of classic old school platform that they don't even use, they don't even know exists. So we don't even have that market group because the same buyers were on Goat and StockX, knew everything that was on eBay and they enjoyed that platform, then they would just go that way. Right, but right. They don't even care for eBay. Yeah, because I think it's just bad experience. You know how bad experience actually is louder. You know, somebody got scammed once. Now everybody in their family, they want to buy an eBay. <laughs> and I mean, StockX too, you could just figure like how many fakes do you think have gone through on StockX yeah. though? They can't get everything 100%. No. Um, but so I think they're doing a lot, I mean, a lot better job there. I mean, yeah. that or they're, they're taking care of the fakes because because before it got really loud when somebody got fake. Now I think they're better at, you know, stopping, uh, stopping the the fire from turning to wildfire, right? Yeah. Uh, or people would make YouTube videos that would get so many views. Now there's just here in their experiences and and StockX take care of them. Before StockX would deny it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they would deny it or don't even respond to a lot of that stuff too. Right. Let me see. eBay and Twitter is my customer service from Caroline. Oh, um, Doug the Pug says they treat you like a number. Uh, sold away in payment. Bugs me. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Who are we? I love Mercari, Felicia. Actual seller protection. Uh, they don't even have verified addresses. Hustle Crow. Uh, let me see. eBay is AOL. Followed by Jake who says, stop hating on 90s platforms. Uh, let me see what else do we have on here. Get rid of the UA listings. Most young people will use Goat and Stock X. Mm -hmm. uh, Jake being sensitive again. Where's my sensitive one on here? I can't even. <laughs> I can't even find it on here. Oh, there it is. And I'm very sensitive. Uh, Jake still on Nike Talk. <laughs> 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 um, let's see. Com people consider eBay your dad store, which I do agree on that one. Right. Stop hating on AOL, DVD, too many returns, and uh, make people pay right away when they accept. So those things we talked about to make the changes. But the thing is, is that it's funny is that eBay already knows all of these things. Yeah. They just haven't done anything. And if they said they're working on it, when is it going to come out? When are we going to see these things? Yeah, they put more money into trying to make a white background photo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make your background white. Here you go. Here's the you upload your photo on here. Right. It's like, you know, cancel eBay open. All this money is going to go towards software to automatically accept payment on every exactly. offer. Um, like, Come on, man. Now they save money because there's no uh, eBay upfront events. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. Saving money on that. 2020 went downhill. Uh, makes your items look fake, says Anna. It does on some of them. Nobody uses that thing. Yeah. You make it look like a stock photo, and then they think that you don't actually have the real item. Yeah. That's the bad part. Okay, let me get this. So I think that was our last one. Oh, yeah, that was our last one. So before we get into solds, um, how, was your, how have your sales been? Man, today's been on fire. I'm not going to lie. Um, surprisingly, I woke up with like $600 in sales right off the bat, and now I'm at $1,300. So uh, it's it's probably one of my biggest days uh, during Corona, um, you know, so it's very surprising, uh, which surprising and not because everybody got their money. Everybody got their stimulus money. Um, I, I did get a lot of offers. You know, one guy was so honest. He said, one guy said, uh, will you take, you know, 150 for this? I was selling it for 200. He said, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying not to spend all my stimulus money on shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying not. It's a struggle within. Yeah, yeah. 
been good. All you gotta do, I mean, and also the reason why it's been good because you know we did pay attention to it uh, because of you know just polishing listing like we talked about before. But but it's been good. Well, the only thing is, I told Glenn earlier, if it's this good and if we're gonna be stuck for another month or two, man, inventory is gonna be poor after two months. <laughs> This poor inventory, but mm. we're hoping that stores will be open by then. Right. But at this rate, it's <laughs> looking grim. Uh, sales have been great today. Flips Anonymous. Sales have been great, Mr. Sports LA. Uh, them checks are hidden from Stevie D. Today is on fire, Logan Skills. Um, I did sell Air Max 97 and then a pair of Air Max 98s and I think a jersey or something today. So some stuff has been moving. Um, but yeah, it has to be because of people getting the stimulus right <laughs> which i kind of figured was gonna happen uh we'll go to a couple of solds on here so women zoom fly and you did sell what was a women's shoe that you've been selling what what was a women's shoe that you've been selling what was that one? Oh, the nike epic react uh oh, okay. that we got from finish line about a few months ago um yeah they're 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 flying i mean i had i think i had 120 pairs at one point <laughs> <laughs> i already sold all of them so we're good on that one. That one was iffy because because everybody had them, but because everybody wants to work out, now everybody start buying them. So we're good. And here's another outlet find. Uh, this one was the Zoom Fly, and this one paid thirty six dollars ninety eight cents. Sold for a hundred. Uh, PayPal for seventy. No eBay fee. That helped out a little bit. Made close to fifty bucks. Next one, I know you guys have remembered this one from one of the Ross videos. So Flyknit 2 Cream Racer Blue and uh, sold for 160 with tax and everything came out to 175 This mm -hmm. one, no eBay fee. We did pay a little bit more at $70 with tax. Yes, this includes the taxes. That's shoe clean. That shoe's clean. Oh, yeah, it's super clean shoe. $850. So we made uh, close to $75 on that one. Uh, this one, B's not going to be too proud. I actually undersold this one, but I waited. I was just trying to get rid of it at this point. What it's 110. What? What size? Uh, it's a 7Y, but oh. um, I did have it for about two months. I didn't get any traction. Finally, someone had a decent bid, and I went back and forth. I was like, uh, it's a kid shoe. Let's do it. 110. Yeah, struggled for so long. There were 7Ys, too. It took them forever. Uh, and also... That size, it's weird. I probably should have maybe done something I could have done under women's athletics. So I wouldn't have to pay this 13, right. 15, but uh, still made 40 bucks. Our ROI is still at 93%. 93, but... A little under, a little under goal. <laughs> and then this one, 140 uh, Air Max 98 South Beach, which did also kind of take a while to sell. I don't know what the deal is with this one. I do have quite a bit still left and i then, think every outlet got them too <laughs> yeah i think every outlet did get he just got them so cheap that's why <laughs> so for uh 140 and got them at 40 dollars and 35 cents and we made close to 70 bucks and here's the last one this is the one that hurt this is the one that i was telling you about in the live show um uh, uh, i ended up selling it for 190 with tax came out to 198 i got it for ten dollars at the swap meet and it's a uh, team issued. I don't know if it's game worn or not, but uh, we could have made one hundred and forty five dollars. But instead, the person returned it the day they got it. And here's the thing that me and B were talking about. You get those, you know, buyers that they send you random questions. And he was like, hey, um, can I take a picture of the inside tag? Which I did. Hey, is it this material? Hey, do you think it's game worn? Hey, do you think I'm like, man, this is way too many questions. I have a bad feeling about this, but I was like, Ugh, I haven't had any hits on it. It's a really good price. Only paid 10, went ahead and sold it and came right back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Part of the game. Part of the yep. game. <laughs> but it had to be like the most expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> come on, we got a twenty dollar, thirty dollar item. <laughs> <laughs> come on now. <laughs> when you know, you know from Edward exactly. You, let, yep, lots of questions equals buyer's remorse is coming, and all part of the game. Um, a hateful is like that. <laughs> 
Let's see. Buyers that always ask a bunch of questions. Deny bad experience from Maximo. Yeah, who is this guy? Aaron Francisco? I have no clue. All I know is I think he paid he played like a DB for the Cardinals back when they were like in the it's Super Bowl against the Steelers. <laughs> it's probably a dude bought it. <laughs> Maybe. His own family bought it, and then they're like, nah, we don't want this one. Let's see. I'll pay you 30 for it. No returns. Crazy. And yeah, no returns. So that was uh those are the five I wanted to cover. But I definitely wanted to cover this return because this one hurt. Um, this one was let's see, is that a Pats fan? Strikes again. Let's see, yeah, this one was bad. Okay. Do you have returns, Glenn? No. But yeah, I know. Hustler hacks can get returns. I don't think so. <laughs> now, weekend releases. Oh. Um, <laughs> I want me to answer this one for you. Do you know what, do you know what they call this show? What? Rust, Rastafari or something like that. Yeah, Rasta Colors. It could Rasta, be not the yeah. iconic scene. Spike Lee's do the right thing. So here we go. Smash or pass on these Jordan 4s. 190 and come out tomorrow, April 16th. Pass and Dookie. Uh, B. Super trash. <laughs> what about the toilet water? It looks like toilet water. <laughs> Man, where did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> Where did that even come from? Uh, super trash, pass, double pass, fugly. Let me see. Was the buyer of the jersey Cornelius? <laughs> Cornelius just gets roasted every live. Uh, we got to bring him on the live show. I got to find him. Garbage, pass, and pass. Uh, let's see. Toilet paper. And not even close. Not worth my stimulus money. Pass, terrible. Yeah, even the Jordan 7 here is already uh, on sale. I did see that. They had some coupon codes online for that one already. Uh, 190 for these. Let me see. Passing the Dookie. Going to be right next to the Neon 4s at the outlet. Yeah, I agree. These will be right next to each other. Um, I don't know what they were thinking. Man, if, I mean, if Bob Marley was still alive and he wore this, this would sell out. Yeah, even Bob Marley would have even rocked these. <laughs> Bob Marley was barefoot. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't even be seen with these on. All right, next one. We have a DTLR New Balance Greek Gods pack. Man, that one, they're just making things up. <laughs> hey, let's switch the laces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's the 220 to 230 is the price. Come out on Friday, April 17th. Yeah, who shops a DTL? <laughs> <laughs> so it consists of Made in USA, 997 Sport. Model oh, you know what? Oh, did, did their Nike account got pulled from them? Did it? Yeah. Oh. I think they got, or got suspended or something. Oh, man. They were doing some backdoor stuff. <laughs> they were yeah. doing backdoor stuff. We're not surprised at that one. Right. Is it 220? No. What's DTLR from Caroline? <laughs> it it's a knockoff foot locker. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Never mind. Two thirty is a lot. Let's see. I do need a New Balance in my dad's shoe collection. Let's see. Yeah, no. El Gronk. <laughs> <laughs> no pass. Dookie. Let me see. Downtown Foot Locker is a DTLR. Toilet paper DTLR in Philly. <laughs> Uh, let me see where else I found some. What curries? Thirty-four dollars on clearance at Academy. Would you have caught these? Um, I don't know. I want to. See, I have to see the. I have to look at everything. I have to do my research and everything. Knock off Foot Locker. Let's see. Not a fan of New Balance. So Greek Gods Pack. Yeah, I'm only a fan of New Balance. We can get them for thirty-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Greek Gods Pack. They're kind of pushing it with that one. KD 13s. Man, why does it remind me of Kobe AD? Yeah, they do kind of have a Kobe looking feel. Uh, man, 160. Coming out on Friday, April 17th. And they're following up their hype colorway uh, with a more traditional black and silver styling this week that falls in line with the Brooklyn Nets uniforms. Why, Nike? L. Pass. And no, I talk about Brooklyn uniform. There's no gonna, there's no NBA for the next two years. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. This is, our, this is our one chance for Lakers. We were doing so well. I know. 
this is a conspiracy or something. Like, why would this happen when we're doing so well? Yeah, and Kobe's not a part of it, so add the dumb count. Uh, something's going on. I don't like it. Looks like styrofoam. Uh, let's see, pass, pass, horrible, pass. Those are all right. And uh, yeah, well, I don't even know why. This is, we're not talking about this one. Pass, just bad. Next one, LeBron 17 low metallic gold. Oh. <laughs> oh, fancy. 170. Also <laughs> on Friday, April 17th. Man, is it me or just LeBron just keeps going out in their price? They keep going up and the colorways are unlimited. Right. I thought I thought at 170, this should be like the highs, right? And now yeah. the 170s are just lows. I think you know lows are going to be 200. All right. 170 can just buy you a low at this point. Right, <laughs> man, and so well, many. Well, are if you go to Nike.com, you can get a hype for a hundred. <laughs> oh yeah, more than an athlete went on sale. Right, come on, LeBron, clearance of the outlets. Let's see, looks like a Kobe Pro Tro pass our weekly LeBron pump, uh, La Trash. <laughs> see, yeah. fancy but pass diarrhea toilet water. And does LeBron even have a say on the design and colors? No. I don't think he cares at this point. This is what we get for Nike paying LeBron a billion dollars for lifetime contract. Now lifetime contract. This is bad. I don't think he cares as long as he makes money, but I don't see this making money though. Like I don't see anybody in a rush to get this or nope. so I don't know. They just keep pumping these things out. All right, next one. Yeezy time. Oh, Speaking of pumping out stuff, Yeezy at 220, uh, V2 linen colorway, and it's a fa- oh, this uh, 350 V2 family sports a peach prime knit upper. How do you feel about this one? Buy for 220, resell for 285. <laughs> That's easy for you. Yeah, I like this. No low ballers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, clean ass colorway for the spring, Stevie D. But you have to go somewhere to flex and rock these. Only way you can flex is on IG. There's no other flexing going on. You can't go anywhere. Yo, this might sell out because it's all white and then people are at home, so it won't get dirty. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Peach Prime Knit. I don't know how. Uh, what is this one? Let's see what the chat says on here. Uh, buy for 225 resell for 185 <laughs> From Zapatos. Um, yeah, everybody be buying size 11 too. <laughs> <laughs> we got those uh, $12 profits. Making $10 profits. Uh, I'm feeling the baby blue, not bad. Poop, wise B. Looks like I'm keeping my stimulus check this week. Uh, let's see, light orange. Where the linens is carpet, shoes. Zebras returning in the summer. I did see that, which will be coming up in our live show. We'll talk about the zebras. And they're trying it again. Um, I remember the zebras when they first came out. Imagine how many people, um, what they were paying yeah. for those. I know somebody paid eight fifty for it. <laughs> That's wild. I miss the old Kanye putting my check back in my pocket. Mr. Sports LA potato sacks sneakers. And our last one, uh, Jordan 6 DMP. And uh, cop this one, smash this one. You're like, ah, I don't know if I agree with that one. $200 comes out on Saturday, April 18th. Sneakers app and other select retailers. And it does come with that uh, gold fancy box with the gold dog tag. And how do we feel about these? Yeah. <laughs> In between. I mean, from 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 the materials that, that I saw on, uh, through YouTube, um, they're all right. I mean, I mean, it's just another black shoe that has gold accents. I mean, <laughs> you can turn your infrared sixes to this one easily. Oh man, looks like we got frozen or something. Let me see. Did we freeze? Did no. we freeze? Oh, I think we're back. Yeah. Okay. I thought we, I thought we froze for a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll ask the cat just in case. You have to refresh. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's they're very simple, very plain, but it's kind of going back. Like it says 2006 uh, when these first came out, so they had the double pack on here. Uh, with the DMP, I do think it's simple, it's clean, 
like you said, regular black shoe with uh, these gold accents. So I think they will do okay, but I don't see them like reselling great in the very beginning. I think it might be more of like a long term type of thing. Yeah, unless unless there's an an issue or a thing with limited production. Yeah, if there's limits, I guess we'll find out about that. Right. Uh, Ma High Hustle says still frozen. Trying to refresh. I refreshed. It came back. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, we're good. Um, let's see. I was in high school in 2006. Uh, let me see. This is a collection. Only bad for resale. No. Uh, let me see. I'm on it. Cop them. Hell yeah. Must cop. These are nice. I'm not a Saints fan. And resale is bad. Uh <laughs> So we'll see what happens, but I do think with people getting their stimulus money, that'll also help with this. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, everybody, I mean, everybody go for all black sneakers anyway. Yeah. So let's see what happens with these and we'll definitely talk about it on uh, our Sunday live show and see how the results were when we bring Jake on. All right. Store updates. I didn't have any, but I did see this article. When trying to get more people worried about more things, how likely is it that coronavirus could travel on your shoes? According to experts. <laughs> I mean, at this point, man, Corona must be a ghost or somebody. Guess, uh, maybe it's like a ghost creature or something that hops onto things. Invisible. An what invisible villain or something. Yeah. Um, let me see. Oh, Caroline says to move to show that we're not frozen. So there we go. Um, <laughs> so this is thing. They're kind of going through this. They're just saying that, like, take your shoes off at the door. 420,000 bacteria, bacteria, not viruses, live on your shoes. As soon as you hit your living area, sanitize your hands, wash those hands, put on your slippers, and you shall be fine. My question is not only, I mean, the shoes you wear, you step on stuff, we get it. Right. What about used sneakers that you're buying from someone else on eBay? Like, is this going to scare people? Like, are other people just going to throw out more fake headlines and, like, get people not to buy stuff? Or... Right. <laughs> Let's see. There's... I, it's crazy. People are just, I don't know. Oh, I mean, I guess with media, too. I mean, they have a lot. I mean, they really don't have a lot to talk about. So, I guess... This Corona jump on pizza will be the next topic. Well, I saw another one yeah. with like with the mosquitoes. It's summertime. Mosquitoes are deadly. Could they be carrying Corona? Could they go from you to the next person and you know getting blood and transferring it and then got people all riled up and oh, let me see. What does it say? <laughs> Let's see. They're getting what? Now they're taking this Corona stuff way too far. Um. Let me see. Not going anywhere. I don't know what happened to that one. <laughs> Let me see. We're looking up for Caesar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's normal to Filipinos. Yeah. The moment you bring your shoes in, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Virus dies after 24 hours. She was in transit for three days, Caroline. All right, so now it's getting into our last little segment, which we've been doing it for the last two weeks. Where are they now? Flood edition. But this time we have the B here, so he can let us know if he purchased any of these shoes and what he thinks about some of them. Then we'll also deep dive into the eBay listings. See, could Glenn not making an OnlyFans cost Corona, Doug the Pug? <laughs> so we can have a bunch of simps following me, hopefully. I mean, you got to pay to know the... The account name. <laughs> you gotta pay. Gotta do it in the super chat. Here's our first one: Super Six Four, Cam Pepper, Sneaky Flips, and District Deals. And remember, these photos came in December 2019. Doesn't mean they bought them. Some people did. Some people didn't. Some people just took photos. And how do we feel about these? Do you, have you sold any of them? Are any of them left? B. Did you pick up any of these? Uh, by the way, before I answer that, this is actually one of my favorite uh, uh, segment that you created recently. Um, this, I mean, helped me a lot like, personally because I've been watching too. Um, but for some odd reason, to answer your question, I haven't found a shoe. You never saw it out there in the wild. 
zero, no flying in South Beach on my area. Well, considering the fact that I haven't really had a good luck with Vapor Max in my area. Mm. But, um, I don't know as far as numbers would go, but I probably would have bought this. All right, so let's see what the chat says. So smash or pass. If you did buy these, maybe you left them behind. Keep me posted in the chat. Now, these were a women's shoe, $69.99. And so with tax and everything, probably paying like $75 or so. Um, this was December 2019 Burlington find. So it says, a middle M says, I wish. I did not find this shoe, but I would have picked them up. Never saw these. Texas Pete uh, found these in a different colorway. And uh, never found these, and I love this series from Barry. So appreciate that. Here's our second one. That's pretty crazy. Let's see, Hustler Billy kicks for flips. J Minaj District deals, and the 270 React. I know we saw this one, but only small sizes, I believe. This one was from Ross this year, January 2020, and they were a little bit pricier at sixty-five dollars. Did anybody pick any of these up? Man, I, to be honest, I wouldn't even touch this shoe. <laughs> it's <was> trash. <laughs> Sold out says trash. Pass hard. Saw never picked them up. Anna says she did pick them up. Um, I sold my 270 Bauhaus for 125 on GOAT today. About time. So Mercurial Venom just sold this one today. Wow. The one sale. <laughs> that one sale. Passed on those huge flood from Miles. I found like 20 of these and passed. So patience is key from Middleham. Sold them quick from Anna. So that's why I like this. We passed on them. Were they a good pass or not? We will find out. But even then, we're what? How many? Three months late? Three and a half months? Or well, actually already in April. So like four and a half. Oh, this hurts me. Kobe AD Oregon Ducks. Now, we remember everybody talking about this one like, man, all I see are size 11. I left them behind. I didn't see any other sizes. $50. This was from Burlington, December 2019. Man. And uh, smash or pass in the chat before or now, did you pick these up? B. Um, one is I've never found them on the ret uh, discount retailer. I did find them. We did find them in a lot of outlets. Nike outlet. All right. Well, well, way before December, though. This is outlets. I think had them in. That was. I think it was even 2018. Because yeah, or like 2019. 2019. Yeah. Um, but I, I never. I've never found this. But I, I would have picked this up for 50 bucks. Kobe's for this price, automatic. Let me see what the chat says. I got a 10 and a half sold for 160. Dug the pug. I picked oh, wow. up a size 10. Shoot to kill. Uh, Smash and Smash sold three pairs. Ross Shallington. These all sold for me. Smash but never saw. Bought three pairs. Sold two pairs and gifted one pair to a friend. Mile high hustle. Let's see. Three deep in these boys. <laughs> <Let's> see, uh, <laughs> never saw them. Smash never found them at Burlington. And would have kept if Kobe ADs were playable. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, these are these are not the best basketball shoes. They're just like hard uh, rock. You can't even bend them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These are tough. These are rough out there. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else did we get. Smooth sailing. Ross Shellington in the building. Yes, sir. All right. Next one. Menace Souls and Stitches and Ronzos. 720 Saturn Miami Vice. Now this was December 2019, but probably could have been all the way up to March 2020 uh, right. before the quarantine because these were still there the last yeah. time I saw them and they did not go down in price. No, nope. so Burlington struggling to sell them at 70. Could imagine what the eBay listings are in here. But did you pick any of them up in the chat? Did you sell them? Maybe you're holding on to them still. Maybe you never picked them up. B. Um, I found a bunch of them, but I passed on all of them just because they're Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> what about that USA colorway? Um, I haven't found the USA. I've only found this one and then the other colorway. I forgot what color was it, but it wasn't USA. Uh, I think there's like a white and blue. Black. Yeah. There's a different one out there. The all white. The all white. Like the. Let me see what the chat says. I never saw them. Oh, that was for a different one. Pass. Saw those and passed. 
pass. <laughs> pass also many. Passed on truckloads of them, Ross Shellington. Easy pass. Yuck. Uh, Divisor picked up five pairs. Hey, at least he's telling the truth out here. So many of these. The yeah, USA yeah, is okay. A motorcycle shoe, smooth sailing. Uh, this was inspired uh, <laughs> by uh, Jordan Motorsports. There you go. Looks like a motorcycle shoe. Pass and trash. So Cricket's theme needs to play in the background every time you pass by those Miamis. <laughs> So here we go. So we'll look at these and we'll see how well they're selling or not selling. Divisor says I still have all five. All right, next one. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, Tailwind Volt and Joe Nunez activate hustle mode and Jasper all took uh, pictures of these. Tailwind for. Fifty-four ninety-nine, October twenty nineteen, from Burlington B. Trash. <laughs> and now, are you surprised if there's listings on there? Well, I mean, I hope they're not watching Hustler Hacks. How many listings do you think of these are on there? Just to take a wild guess. One hundred fifty. Dang, that's high. You think there's one hundred fifty listings of these on there? We'll double check. We're gonna see. Probably. And this is October 2019. They're probably I've still out of, there. I've seen a bunch of them, and then next week I went around, they're gone. <laughs> so someone has to be picking these up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. Noah to flip it says better than that KD4 trash. Yeah, right. Oh, my uh, goodness. Uh, Come on. Are like 1960s shoes. Uh, <laughs> better than that KD4s. Come on, man. Uh, why the tailwind from Jose? Uh, let's see. The lady at my Burlington yelled at me when I returned seven pairs <laughs> <laughs> from sold out. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Why the tailwind? I mean, at least they accepted it, right? They yeah, they have to. They don't have a choice. Pray return. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? After you sign up for Burlington's little deal they have going on, you can return these in 90 days if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you can. Right. Next one, Souls and Stitches, Don Alpha Cleat with the Foam Posit 1 Shine Dark Stucco, like a shiny-ass green. Now, some of some people did find these at TJ Maxx and some at Ross. B, did you find any of these? Um, No, I didn't find that color, but I would have bought well, $39 TJ Maxx, I and mean, this is this is automatic. I pay 60 for phones. Yeah. Cop this one, smash this one. Uh Ross, I don't know how much this one was. Maybe it was 15. I don't remember. 49, 59. Sold out says never found. Uh, never seen this color. Uh, never found these. Alligator Swamp colorway. Never found these. Never found. So a lot of people never saw these, which I I thought there was a whole bunch of these. Um, August 2019. So we're we're going way back for this one. Uh, let's see. Cop and still holding. There you go, Maximo. I found uh, one. Shallington passed. Pass. Shallington did pass. He was um, probably in a hurry from his lunch break. Yeah, his lunch break. He had to get back. So that, that's the only reason why, I would think. Never saw. I'll cop for 39. Why do these look used already? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, would you rock these, Glenn or B? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I couldn't rock these. Um, I think That's the only foam posit I would rock, there was like original blue Penny Hardaway type of. Yeah, color. I would rock something dark. And uh, I would have rocked the foam posit pro, like the old, all black. Uh, but only during uh, when there's like a foot of snow outside. <laughs> In certain good. circumstances. <laughs> right. These look like plastic. Ross Shellington left these. And definite cop for 39. Our next one. Oh. Ooh. Oh, remember these? Mm. Vapor Max run utility Chinese New Year. Now Vapor Max. Uh that nice red and gold. And yeah. $69.99. These were also at Burlington as well. So we have Ross photos here. They were also at Burlington September 2019. Yeah. Let's see. Cop. All day long. Doug the Pug regret passing. Right. Those are money. Pick Man. one up. Any, any all red, Vapor Max, Air Max, 
uh, whatever, Max. You got a cop up. Let's see, I left for my competition, Doug the Pug. Um, what up? I haven't seen these. Never saw. Wish I did. Um, Zapatos, just a bunch of love. Sold three fair, uh, pair fast. Mr. Sports LA. And let me see what else I saw. Never saw these. I miss Ross from Caroline. Never get into this, like, you know, late at night. Just start wondering about things. I'm there. <laughs> just like, man, remember the days, like, getting fines and going to the store and making videos. And, yeah, just, <sighs> mi corazón. It just hurts. My heart. I'm just. <laughs> um, people undercutting these, though. I never saw them in a triple black color and never sold one under 200. Right. So funny, especially Chinese New Year. I think when the Chinese New Year pack is one of the best. Yeah. That Spanish laugh out loud. <laughs> yep, that only one. That's the only Spanish you're going to get for now. Man, you better get that for your sound clip. <laughs> I'm going to have to do it for the sound clip. Uh, does Ross miss us? It, it damn well misses us. They need us customers out there. They are hurting right now. Yeah, especially the resellers. <laughs> yeah, what are they going to do? Uh, is that it? Is that the, oh, we got more. Oh, I got... Is this the last oh, one? Ooh, oh, this is nice. the last one. Air Max 97 DBs. This one was at Burlington, not at Ross. Only Burlington fine. September 2019, $55. And how do you feel about these? My auto cop. The only DBs that I found are like the Air, Ma uh, the Air Force and the Nike Free. All are trash. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the DBs up in here and retail on these 170, $55. Uh, let me see what the, what do they say? DBs always move eventually. Um, I miss even Ross Prevention, uh, Ross Lost Prevention workers with their lifeless hello, <laughs> with their soulless hello. Let me see. It was a lack of Chico's talking Spanish. I know. I'm dwindling. Auto cop. Uh, never pass on DB. Uh, let's see. Middle tag is my What? Yeah, the middle tag is mine. I still have them. Oh, there we go. Hustle to win. Wow. I uh, see. I froze from Jose. I saw these at Burlington. Picked them up. Regret getting them. Oh, a little mix. Let me see. And these feel like a long, long hold. All right, so those are the ones we're going to review today. <laughs> we were just talking about that. We haven't even gone through the listings yet. Right. This might be a long live show. And well, we got nothing else to do. So what yeah, the no heck? <laughs> I've got anywhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get this out of the way and switch screens. We can go through the listings. B is going to give us what uh, his thoughts are. Here we go. Chrome. Oh, where are we? Oh, there we go. I'll get this up. And share. Okay, and what we're starting with the wrong one. We're starting off with the first one. Uh, Glenn, can you hurry this show up? I got so much to do <laughs> from Logan. Here we go. Style code only, 100 results as we speak. Let me see when this one came out. How long ago? We had the date on here. Uh, December 2019. So five and a half months. We're down to 100 listings. I do believe... When this first started, they were up there in listings, like 300 something. Let me see. Let's see, 119, 119, 125. I would think at this point, we're not going to see anything lower than 120. At least we shouldn't, uh, because now we're down to the last 100 listings. Well, let's see how many have sold. 189 results on the solds. Wow. Um, ended recently. 129, 129, 130. Let's go far back. Let's start off with the first ones. You know, in what, January? Let's go to the fourth page in here. Let me see. Yep, fourth page. 120, 120 on bid, $84. Another one, $84. So these are probably going to be the lowest ones. And they're eventually making their way up and up. Let me see another one there. Yeah, a bunch of 85. Someone just throwing these on bid back oh, in January. Right. Well, you got to consider, too, like, you know, from well, half of the U.S. was cold, so they're probably thinking about a uh, running shoe or a summer shoe. Mm. Look at that photo. I mean, could you get any farther away? <laughs> 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 I'm like, damn, what am I looking at? All right, let me see. 
the one Royal thing. Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anything you want to say about the ones that ended recently? 140, 129, 130? Go get them. You know, a sorcerer has to say it. <laughs> get it. So you're, yeah, nothing nothing bad to say on these. Selfies. Is that one you right here, 170? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's when I tried the white background. <laughs> Anna says that one was a drone shot <laughs> <laughs> on that other one. <laughs> so far. All right, next one. Here are the ones everybody said, nah, these are trash. 270 React, a Bauhaus on these. 111 on the results, style oh, code only. Not bad. I mean, considering everybody probably has like 10 quantity of each size. <laughs> <laughs> well, originally, we only saw small sizes. Um, let me see. Let me go back up. What's going on on here? Oh, I'm at 140 right now. I've hold, already sold two pairs from Mile High Hustle. Let me see. All right. And uh, those are trash. Um, all tempo selling right now. Not those. So 99. You know what? Just get this one to the 100. You don't pay. Don't pay the fee. All right. 80. This What's up? They missed the memo about eBay not having fees. So if you still up for 100. Yeah. And, oh, and six and a half at $85. Not good. Man, 59. This might be pre-owned. It looks a little dirty. I'm going to say it's pre-owned. But I'm thinking that we only found small sizes. That was our original problem with this shoe, finding them at Ross. And the price was $65. So that also didn't help us. Let's see what the solds. So let's see what's going on. Sold one on offer up. There we go. Man, those hurt my eyes. <laughs> Mr. Sports LA. Um, here we go. 169 results. since. Wow. January. Yeah, there we go. So there's more of these sold than the Vapor Max in the last three months. I'm thinking because they are so cheap that maybe yeah, some of them <laughs> 120. Look yeah. at that size six, uh, men's eight, oh no, men's size six, 120. Size seven, $58. Yeah, BG's probably right. Uh, eBay employees probably bought them. Once they got the deal, they got the sale. Yeah, eBay colors. <laughs> eBay colors, $70, $80. Yeah, this one, even if you still had them at this, hey, how did this one get in here? <laughs> that's not that shoe, but they they sold it. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah, guys, that's one of the things that we're going to eliminate if we become the owners of eBay. Don't worry about it. There's a, there's a lowest price you can do. You can't list lower than a certain price. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. All right, so this one we can get out of this one. I'm gonna hire somebody to look at comps full time. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kobe AD Oregon. Um, let's get the pre-owned out of here. Yeah, yeah. Twenty-three results left. Oh man, it had to be. How many size eleven? Let's see. The first four are all size eleven. Um, the next one size eleven. <laughs> Sort it, sort it by size. <laughs> I don't think we have to. There's only 23 results, and all of them are probably size 11. I'll go nine, eight and a half, size 11. 18 out of the 23 are size 11. Uh, 154. Here we go. $500. 135. 199. 149. Replacement box. Jordan. Hey, just get the Jordan one box. Right, 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 right. You get to use something else to put in that box. 300, 265, 297, and 175. All right, let's go to the solds. Let's go back. Let's just look at all of them. And hey, what happened here? I don't want to see size 11. Let's see. Okay, here we go. 23 results. Sold. 100. 101 results. Oh, called it. Uh, 140, 155. Wow. Yep. We're getting a deal. How about that one? Wow. Size 12, 399. Probably the day it happened. Uh, this is actually March 4th. Man. Money laundering. <laughs> uh, 145, 165, 149. Let me see, 150, 200. Hold it high to low, Glenn. 
Let's see. High to low. Let's see. Go here. Price gouging. Yeah. 290. You got two pairs, bundle of two. Mm. 200, 189, and 202. This actually didn't go for a lot. I think the interesting thing that you want to look at here from the data is that the highest three out of these eight are all size 12. Mm. So I'm guessing, you know, with there being so many size 11s, it's like. Yeah, you know, the lowest probably size 11. Yeah. The lowest. Let me see. I bought the low balls before Kobe passed. Maximo on top of things. Oh. $400. What the hell? Oregon. Um, I got 150. I heard Jake use his whole stimulus check on OnlyFans. Uh, second row, far right, two or mine, Mile High Hustle. Let me go. Let's go to lowest and see. So January 26th, $80. Now that was the day that Kobe passed. So looks like these are the people that immediately saw the news and just started sniping them. Right. At eighty dollars, more or less, yeah. Um, Sixty-nine, yeah. All of these January twenty-sixth. Um, here's another one, January twenty-sixth. Man, all of these they were quick on it. Um, they got all of these for less than a hundred. So uh, crazy on that one. But yeah, only twenty-three results left. I have three pairs. I didn't list them. So I'm just gonna be waiting around. I guess I don't know when. I'll list them sometime. Next one. Uh, here we go with the Saturn Miami Vice, and the yeah. first one easily we can see eighty dollars best offer. Now Ooh. if you're looking at Burlington, pick them up in the corner right. Uh, this one. Yeah. Look at this one. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Clutch Swag Store even has one showing the inventory in the back. Even got uh, wants to look a little Nike outlet like. So there you go, B. Yeah. Uh, Seventy-five dollars, eighty dollars. And the thing is about this one, eighty dollars, is that it costs sixty-nine ninety-nine. So I'm, I mean, they are losing money at this if they're assuming we got them at that price. Right. I mean, maybe they got an employee discount. We don't know what they paid. One nineteen. Uh, one. Hey, is it the same background? One fourteen and eighty-nine or eighty? What happened here? Uh, let's see, 150, 94, 130. How many do you think have sold? 20. And let me see, since January? Oh, maybe 40. <laughs> 40, 45. Oh, how many? 40 results. I see. I knew it. I knew it. 113, 74, 109, 99, 105. And then we just got to the cheap one, 65. Man, 60. Oh, 45 shipping. <laughs> uh, trickster on that one. Uh, 89 and 86. All right. So this one, uh, that Burlington's going to hold on to these for a while. I'm kind of curious, though, when the stores do open, will this one go down? Super clearance? Maybe. It's been sitting there for adding another two months of uh, quarantine. Hello now. Here we go. And dusty, you're asking how many people are going to be listing tailwinds. I said 155 results. You said 150. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I better put some money on something. <laughs> 155 results on the tailwind. Oh, there's that guy again. Yep, there's that guy again. And also, DFW, who you know, you met. Mm hmm. Listed these 107, 10 yeah, photos. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, 175, 82. The grass. The grass ones at 100, 83, 189, 99. The prices actually are all over the place. Right. Because you have your, your sellers that are sticking to over 100 no matter what, like this yeah, one, this pay. one. But then we have some of these that are just like, man, How much help me. These? 50 bucks? Uh, these were $54.99. Oh, wow. All right. How many have sold? Let me go to the solds on here. 60. You think 60? Let's yeah. See. <laughs> 
59 results. Oh my, oh man. <laughs> man. Let's get on top of things. On point. 100, hey, look at these, 100. So they're at least not paying fees. I'll give them that. 83, 80, um, 109, 64. Oh, look at that one. Nice and cozy by the fire, <laughs> roasting some tailwinds. <laughs> 65, 65, 75. Quarantine, and he just like wants to take photos outside with the leaves. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get in, you gotta get interesting and creative with these photos if you're gonna right, be posting right. some tailwinds. Um, gonna be on a reality TV show, acted so surprised, <laughs> playing smooth jazz. Um, <laughs> let's see, I found so many of these, it was crazy. And Josh Brown, blah, blah, blah. passed on all. Next one, 182 results for those foamies. What? <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised there's still so many of these out there. Um, this was back in August 2019. Wow. So we're a good. Yeah, this game with a particle beige, right? Yeah, this one. Yeah, around that time. Man. So this is about. Nine or ten months later, 182 results. You could have gotten pregnant and had a kid, and these were still <laughs> over 100-something listings. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Glenn going loopy being inside so long. I know. I'm losing it up in here. Uh, let's see. $80. That's, that's I mean, price over 100 Come on. Don't pay the fees. Yeah. Let me get that one up. Get these up. 130, 115, 108. Here we go. 200. 72. Oh, man. I don't want to click on this one. What happened? Let's see low to high, Glenn. Sorted low to high. Okay. Sorted low to high. Well, you can buy right now if you want to right, snipe right. some. Let me see some listings. Uh, 69 best offer. 79 buy it now free shipping. What size? New without box, size seven and a half. So if you want to get on these, eighty dollars. Let me go back. Uh, one fifteen, one thirty. Those. Uh, wait, these are sponsored. That doesn't count. Eighty dollars, eighty dollars. Yeah, it looks like you can get some right now for eighty bucks. Wow, I'm surprised they're not going. So uh, Green Goblin wore these. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Sold listings? How many since January? Man. I'd say 110. 110. Let me see. Solds. 29? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, these are moving incredibly Dang. slow. So that's like 10 items a month. Yeah, if that. Uh, this is... Yeah, Man, I'm kind of surprised with this. Some thing. people, uh, some people accepted the offer, but nobody paid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this wow. Is yeah. Let's see, I was gonna say twenty. Yeah, everybody was wrong. <laughs> Eighty, eighty-five. I'll go two hundred. Unless he had a really good size. Yeah. 107. Well, some, some of them have boxes too, though. True. 89. Partial box. 132. Man, look at that. 55 best offer. 11 shipping. Man, let me check boat real quick. <laughs> <laughs> We're throwing it on bid. $39. 10 bids. So, all right. Ross Shellington, I feel better now. So, yeah, that, that's all we have to do this this research. How well are these things doing right now? All right, next one. Here's oh, one you want to see. They're like a hundred dollars. Oh, for the foams? Yeah. Only five results from style code. Wow. For the Vapor Max utility. One oh se what well no seven. Oh, B grade. I got oh. thrown out. I'm about to say someone yeah, can just get right if, now. If we ran eBay Glenn, that wouldn't even be there. <laughs> that would be in its own section. Its own category. Right. Where you have to literally type in B grade in order to find it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 142, 159, 174, 179. Here's an here's the interesting thing. Buy all four of these 
and just own the market. Oh, you know what? Bump up the price two fifty a pair. <laughs> <laughs> now Glenn's just thinking like Glenn's like a capitalist right now, <laughs> like uh, Glenn like acting like Wall Street. Here's the only bad thing: all four of them are a size fourteen. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm not buying that. <laughs> Let him sit there. That's why they're struggling to get rid of that. Oh, dookie. How quickly that changed. <laughs> yeah. From, hey, that might be a good idea. Right. To, wait, I'll, all our size 14? How did that happen? Yeah, I almost picked up my phone. How many do you think sold? 50. 20 results. Wow. Let's see. Ended recently. 159 plus 20 shipping and 11 and a half, 180, 160, uh, 12 and a half for 129. So we know that weird size though. 116 for size 14, 200 on bid, size 10 and a half, and uh, 12 and a half again, 14, 135. What size? Uh, what oh, 12 and a half. What do you want to see? What size sold for the highest? Uh, let me see. Highest first. A size 12, 245 best offer. We just don't know what that price is. So wow. around 200. I mean, this one sold for 200 to 10 and a half. What's that? Oh, wow. Where's like all the size eight to nine and a half? They all went to China. They bypassed eBay. Uh, maybe because I don't know where they are. I don't know what happened there. That's crazy. Refresh the page and they're all gone. That's from Anna. There you go. Oh, somebody bought them. <laughs> somebody bought them all. They're still here. Let Which me, one do you want? Let me check. Uh, B grade one. Oh, man. Like, uh, B grade. All right. So that one, we know. We already knew that one was going to be a good one. So Man, they're going for a lot of money on GOAT. How much on GOAT? On a size 10, 250. No box for 10 and a half, 350. <laughs> Dang. 450 for an 11. A thousand for a twelve. <laughs> Three thirty-five. Where is the eight to nine and a half? Not even here. Dang. So it's a rare breed on this shoe. Oh, so I'm gonna start be hunting for them. Yeah, exactly. Man. Cop this one. Smash this one. All right, our last one. Those Air Max 97 DBs. Man, this is even with box 100. With 12 shipping. It's probably not the greatest of signs right here. 75, wow. 80. I mean, I think it's a clean shoe. 96 results. 110, 83, 120. And let's see, going down. 100, oh, 99. Get that penny up. Uh, 119, 125. A little mix in the pricing. How many do you think have sold? 50. I think less. 18. Wow. 18 have sold since January. That is that is rough. So roughly four to five, maybe six pairs a month, if that. Uh, but probably around four or five pairs. But uh, mm. $60. Um, 85 with box, 110. Yeah, with box, bid. 110. That's great. Um, oh no! Did did this come out of the outlets? No, not the ninety sevens, right? Mm, I don't think they did. Huh. Hmm. Man, like that one, forty eight dollars. Buy it now, ten. So that guy taking a photo at the store or something, or is that his house? This one? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's flexing all the other ones in the collection. Yeah, he's black. He's Jordan mids. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I agree. This is tough. That's bleak. That's why I passed on him. Rookie reseller um, told you long hold. Too wow. good to be true. And damn. And uh, Glenn Bezos of eBay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even look like a Dornbecker. That's true. And Dornbecker is not like it used to be anymore. Yeah, that is true, too. Maybe because there's just so many different shoes coming out all the time. Yeah, I mean. They if just they get kind of lost in there. Yeah, yeah if they stayed to like. I mean, the Jordan 4 Dornbecker Superman, right? Went crazy. A Jordan 5 Dornbecker. Uh, what else? Uh, foams. 
did great until they start using what Jordan 17. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Now they're just whack. <laughs> I mean, it, Dorn Becker 95, that was crazy cool. Yeah, it is rough out there for the DBs. Just too many shoes coming out at once. Yeah. That's weak. All right, so we are. Let me go back out of this. Let me see. Remove from stream. We're not done yet. I have to go back. So we can figure this thing out. Share screen. Not there yet. And we are back. All right, we're back. That was our, uh, what was our last one that we looked at? This was September 2019. And the DBs came out also September 2019. So, all right. And our last thing, a nice little giveaway. So 30 bucks straight to your PayPal account from Man. your boy Hustler Hacks. And the last people that did win, though, I haven't heard anything at all. So I don't know. I they haven't need to up the money now, disqualify them and up the money. And just three straight giveaways of the people that didn't respond. So I'm going to give them a little bit more time. I don't know what happened. Maybe they're watching. Maybe they're not. But I haven't heard anything. So I'll keep you guys posted. Here we go with the giveaway. And let me get my answer out so that I am ready. And, uh, okay, I got it right. Here we go. And from most listings to least. Now, we just saw these four pairs. So this should be easy. We just did the research on them. If you're paying attention, then uh, this should be easy money for you. Uh, let me see the first answers that came in. Middle M. Z, no, but close. Uh, no, middle M, no. Still kicking sports, no. Demand Mr. Information, uh, Z, no. DJ Holly, no. Still kicking, no. Hustle Crow, no. Anna, Z, no, but very close. Alan, no. Brian, very close. El Gronk, no. Sneaker Finds, no. Just Fire Deals, no. Very close, though, on that one. Still Kicking, no. Doug the Pug, no. Um, Enrique, you're the one who won two, three weeks ago. I still owe you the money, so you can't win on this one. Uh, but I do need to go get a hold of you or you email me something. We'll figure that out. But I know you're on there. And now that threw off the whole chat. Okay, let me see where I am at. Okay, Hustle Crow? No. Mark Anthony? No. <laughs> and uh, flipping the Hustle? No. Hustle B? <laughs> it's on here. Uh, middle M? What? No. Uh, the man, Mr. Information, no. Uh, Miklo, no. Coach Evans, no. Uh, Just Fire Deals, no. And let me keep going down. See, still kicking? No. Allen, no. Sneaker Finds 12. All right, if it doesn't start with Z, you're already eliminated. So it has to start with Z. That's the most listings right now. And Edward, nine, no, rookie reseller. Man, I can't believe this guy just took take forever. <laughs> Dapper fanatic, no. Logan, no. Let me see. Shoe shark, no. And middle M, coming back for more, no. Uh, Logan skills, no. J10, no. Fast Eddie, no. All right, nobody wants it. No, nobody wants this one. Flip, no, it's a flip it, no. Sold out, no. Mercurial Venom, no. Logan, no. Enrique, no. Mr. Information, no. Christian, no. Uh, Yaroslav at... Yaroslav, if I said your name right, you have won. Correct answer. Z nine A one. Dude, that was right. Was right. Answer. What? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Hustle Peak would have won the thirty dollars. Y'all should have just copied my answer. Yeah, he put the answer out there early, way early, and no one, no one copied and pasted it. But Hustle Beat threw it out there. That one took so long. Hustle Beat. <laughs> yeah, <won. laughs> Man, I, I was like, how? How was my answer wrong? <laughs> I didn't. I yeah, I didn't, I didn't say it was wrong. But I was like, damn it, this guy had to get it right, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So let me get this out of the way and so <laughs> remove from stream. All right, man. A long live show, almost an hour and a half. Anything you want to say before we go? Uh, we are going to have a live show on Sunday. The only bad thing is on Sunday, ESPN will be showing their Bulls Last Dance documentary. So you either get to watch that, or you're going to join us for the live with James. Yeah, we might have to move our live. I know it's like ugh, we can't really compete. What so, time's the thing? I gotta double check. I don't know when it starts. We should probably watch it after. We should probably do live after. We should or just do a live stream and watch it together. <laughs> Get copyrighted on the channel. Uh, let me see. When's the shoe collection video coming out? I know we've been asking for that one. Do people really want to see that though? I feel like it's not helpful. I mean, I'll do it, but I feel like it's not helping anybody. Glenn, just give the people what they want. Just do it. <laughs> show them your five collection. <laughs> my five pairs in my collection. Just show it already. <laughs> Bulls better than Jake, or Bulls greater than Jake. I'm not. I'm not gonna deny that one. <laughs> uh, reschedule it. <laughs> ESPN on record. Yeah, you can definitely record it. What? What that? Oh, they say 9 p.m. Eastern. So it's probably about, it's going to be, is it going to be an hour? Hmm. Maybe we can do the live show earlier, like during the day. Or after. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it during the day. And then we'll, you know, so we're over and done with. We don't want to disturb the, the documentary. Right, 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 right. Hit the like button. Thanks, Mr. Uh, the man, Mr. Information. Appreciate that. Uh, great show. Stevie D, how many times Grant Hill Fila is going to be in that documentary? Mm. Jake, he will definitely keep tabs. We're the Dunk Collection. I know you got them dog walkers. They are in there. Oh. Uh, let me see. Where are we? Who has a better collection? Glenn, B, or Jake? Let the people vote. Oh. I think B, B's collection definitely is worth more than mine. Jake has a bunch of 90 stuff that you can get cheap. <laughs> my, mine's not worth much anymore because I let go of my Travis Scott. But uh, Okay. So what if okay, either I do a live... I mean, I do a regular video showing the collection, or me, Jake, and the B do triple collection on a live show and have to show them all. Look at that. What does the chat think? You let me know. And if that's the case, then I have to bring in the shoes in here, and then we'd have to show them on here. Middle M says triple collection. Oh, We want to see all. Triple threat. Triple and threat. And then we bring in our top five or something, and show our top five. Top five. Triple collection live from Edward. <laughs> Triple oh, threat. Everybody wants it. We got to give it. All right. We got to give the people what they want. Each pick your top five. We vote. Yeah, you know why they want it live? Because they So that they can roast us live. <laughs> or roast Jake, which always ends up happening. But I don't know what's in. You know what? I know what's in B's collection. I don't know what's in Jake's collection. So... <laughs> Um, I'm kind of curious now that you guys are um, Jordan one lows. <laughs> Jordan one lows we know are on there. Uh, we know he has. Uh, what well, I'm, I'm trying to think what I've seen him rock. Uh, uh, French, French twelve. We've seen him rock. rock yeah, those. I see the guy that wears French twelve. <laughs> French blue twelves. Uh, <laughs> uh, cookie eating contest with the B. Oh, for sure. Uh, Y'all yeah, yeah, don't know it. Y'all don't know it. Glenn's a cookie eater, too. <laughs> yeah. We got just a box or that nice little package right there, Chips Ahoy Chunkies. Yeah. All right. Do an early show. We'll definitely do that for Sunday. Early show on Sunday. And uh, let's see. Fila's. Be careful. Jake, very sensitive. And I'm very sensitive. And uh, get let viewers show collections. There we go. Oh, we could do that too. Maybe, yeah. maybe, uh, maybe, maybe we could do it after for this. Yeah. After maybe next week or something. Show our collections, and then Stevie D can jump on, show what he has, things like that. Whoever else wants to jump in, Jake got those British knights. I got those troops. 
<laughs> All right. So we are done. Appreciate everybody that watched the show hanging in there. Um, and we have to see all of the listings, talk a little bit about StockX, which I'm not too happy about. Um, but let's see what they follow up with. They're not going to say anything else. They're, they're, they're sticking with it, and that's all there is to it. All right. Anything you want to say, B, before we go? Well, stay at home, stay safe, and stay home and get it. <laughs> go on and get it.